Hey Sag, so I am back to do your second reading. Now with this particular reading, what I'm gonna do, guys, do not fast forward the video. I felt that, don't do it. Let me explain, okay? Let me do what the person that's gonna to come to you is gonna do. <laughs> anyway, but what I'm gonna do, so this is gonna be something different. Like I've already told you guys on my channel, I try to make it very fun, very spunky. I wanna make it different. Let me hurry up and get to what I wanna say. All right, so um, there are different scenarios dealing with Sagittarius's, okay? So uh, there are a lot of Sagittarius that's going to be having some really good, uh, I mean, the, the situation is just gonna be absolutely terrific, okay? But then you have those that's on the, uh, on the other end where it's like, okay, well, I don't wanna have anything to do with it and I don't think it's gonna happen, which is true. Okay, I'm not here to sell you anything because I'm, I'm telling you now, not all Sagittarius is going to be getting proposed to or getting married or anything like that. So we're in that little space where we need to try to figure out, okay, so what's going on with me? You know, who's the person that's going to come towards me? If there's going to be a person that's going to come towards me. So I want to let the cards kind of say it, okay? If it's new, I'll know if it's new. If it's someone that's going to return, fine. And I'm going to also kind of focus on those who don't have anyone, but specifically those who may feel lonely and feel like they just really need some answers. So what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to have three different decks that I'm going to use. And this is just my way. I was trying to figure out a way that I can do it. So I thought about it. I'm going to uh, put out five cards with three different decks. And then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do after. If there are multiple cards, let's say there are duplicates that comes out of these decks, then that's the energy we're going to focus on, okay? So let's go ahead and get five cards from this deck. <clears throat> okay. That's four, five. All right, so I know you guys are thinking about time, but the thing is, this is important for you guys to see, okay? So that's the first deck that we have. Let's get to the second one. I'm going to use the, I'm, uh, these are all pre-shuffle. I'm gonna use this deck, the Aunt Claire, Aunt Claire, I believe it's called, or Pratt deck. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius, good lord, y'all. Okay, that one just flew across the room. I gotta pick that one up, so that's three. I need two more. Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing, and I've already like talked to the cards. I've already done all of that before I got on camera. So, that's one, two, three. This is four. One more. Okay, two came out. That's fine. Just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> and then we're gonna do five out of this deck. And then we're gonna see how this is gonna work. I wanna make this fun, okay? But, ooh, Sagittarius, this read is fantastic so far. Okay, these are flying. Let me check the ones that are flying. Because this means something. Oh, that's you, Sag. Okay. I know what that means. Three more for Sag. All right. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is... We're just gonna do one at a time, okay? So we're gonna start with the cards that has pain in them first, and then we're just gonna kinda of see where we can go from there. So we're gonna kinda of climb our way out of it. So let's see. All right, so I'm gonna kinda of stick with this for a second. All right, so right now I do see that, um, uh, again, you guys already know with the, um, 
I'm gonna put this here. All right, so you guys already know that there has been you know, some type of ending. That's the reason why you guys are here. There was an ending to a connection that you guys had prior. Um, and you know, I'm not looking at that card as just an ending. You know, you guys are, you guys have this, you know, with, with you, Sag, I'll tell you this all the time with you, you're, you're very spunky. You're extremely optimistic. Okay. But this particular situation that you're in, whether you have someone or not, lonely feelings that you guys have, I'm going to put all you guys in one basket because I'm going to cover as much as I can with every last one of you. There's this feeling of defeat, right? So I, I was kind of speaking about this yesterday when I was talking about, um, you know, feeling like things are not going to happen. Now, this could be definitely for those who do not have anyone and definitely for those who, you know, the person that you want in the past that may not come around to you. OK, a lot of you guys have to get personal reads to know specifically about your situation. All right. You have to invest in yourself. OK, but here when it comes down to um, this car, it's like defeat. Okay, so you were down, but I'm seeing getting up here. You know, you, you're still in that energy, but you're trying to be more optimistic. You guys, some of you guys are trying to reach out if you guys don't have anybody to reach out to. Eventually, I want to have my website up, I promise. Um, that is what I, I do. But um, in general, when it comes down to this 10 of swords, this was an energy of you guys feeling just completely just destroyed. OK, I, and I think this was more so out of shock. This was a shocking feeling because it didn't you didn't necessarily see it coming. Some of you guys were very intuitive and you knew certain things may happen, but not necessarily the way that it happened. And the hangman energy to me. And I, I mean, I want to say both you and whoever is coming. I want to try my best to get as much as I can out of this read. OK, and I know this is a little bit different from what most readers do, but that's the reason why I'm here. Okay, so here with this hangman energy, <clears throat> this is like you reaching for, it's like you're reaching for your happiness and it's not quite there yet. You know what I mean? You've done a lot of different, you, you've been very flexible in your approach to relationships. So, you know, if someone, you know, came to you in the past and there were certain things that you didn't necessarily want to do, you did it. Some of you guys took a leap of faith and approach people when you don't necessarily approach people. So when I say flexible, I mean flexible to the point where you were doing things that you normally wouldn't do. Okay. But then now you're in this, in this position where you're trying to get yourself out of this, like this, uh, limbo state. So I feel, and I'm going to look at this on a positive note. I feel like you guys are going to, you know, not have this headache anymore, this pain that, that you're feeling. And some of you guys may be having back pains or severe sinus headaches or, you know, headaches in that, in that, um, just as far as body parts. Now here, this is again, all of these, this energy works in harmony, even though they are all different cards, right? Um, this is actually just talking about, you know, of course, investing but I feel like you guys, this is more so reminiscing. I, I don't, I mean, you know that you've invested, but this is more so you reminiscing on the things that you've done. And I feel like the pain is, and you're trying to put the pain behind you, which is like turning yourself around, right? Getting yourself out of the energy that you're in, because there's a lot of beautiful things. We haven't even gotten to these beautiful cars yet, Sag. Okay, so this is the, the universe trying to help you see things from a different perspective, from a different light, okay? So maybe it's like the person that you guys are dealing with maybe saw things one way and maybe they need to really turn themselves around. We kind of saw that yesterday in one of the Oracle cards that we read, right? So there is thing, it's, it's moving. It's really moving. And the person that you guys are dealing with definitely see things in a different perspective. And they too are in a, in a situation where they are reflecting on the things that you have invested. Okay. So yeah, so there's pain here. There is you, you're, you're eventually untying yourself from pain, untying yourself from lonely feelings, maybe trying to get out more things of that nature. Right. But I do see the person that you guys are dealing with in the past is sensing hurt. You guys are sensing hurt. 
but you guys are reminiscing and this person is trying is going to take action okay so this for this is what's causing the person to take action because here with all these beautiful cards with all these beautiful different um uh, energies here. It's it's like the chakras. It 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 touched them in their heart and in their minds. Okay, the it, it was this is down in the soil. So now everything that you planted is growing, and that person is thinking and meditating on it. So now what I'm going to do is go to kind of like the neutral cards. So here we're talking about the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles came out and the Seven, seven of Pentacles. Again, we're talking about, you know, um, investing. But I do see a lot of you guys, um, you know, whether you guys are worried about finances, money, things of that nature, it's going to work out for you. I see that heavily, okay? So I do see it. But I also see that someone that you guys have in mind um, coming towards you to offer you something. So this could be possibly money. This could be a trip. This could be gifts, things of that, that nature. But let's just say you guys don't have anyone that you're dealing with. You are going to be dealing with people or with someone or individuals who do not mind giving. Okay. The six of pentacles are the ones who are there to listen to you when you call the ones who are very supportive in that nature. So this car is very it's good to see because now it sees like the hard work that you guys have put in, all the pain that you guys have suffered. But then here it is with the six of pentacles saying, then the universe is giving that back to you. Remember, it says it's it, that whole thing about if you give, then it gives back into tenfold. That is the energy that you guys are in. Okay. And so whether new or old, definitely I'm seeing this with um, a past person, but with new person, you, with a new person, you guys are definitely going to be receiving in a way as far as a connection, what you put in and what you have already put out from the past. Now, here with the Empress card, um, you know, I've said this before, you know, you guys, it seems like a lot of you guys like to travel. Okay. Um, but of course, we're, you guys kind of feel a little stuck, a little trapped in the house because of the situation that we're all in and the things that we're facing. So here with the Empress, you know, again, this is, this is kind of saying, um, you know, you may have to get a new idea to not feel stuck because I, this to me, even though the Empress is always something good, the way people, people view you, the way the person who you are thinking about or the person that you guys will uh, meet, meet, um, will view you because you are, um, very abundant in that way, right? You're very youthful and very energetic, but it's being stifled by the energies that we're, by the situations that we're in right now. So you feel stuck that you can't be in that normal Sagittarius energy, right? You can't be in the energy that you normally would be in, all right? So here, it's just something to think about. So even though there are a lot of, um, you know, things that you guys have been through, don't think so negative just because it's not moving the way you guys want it to move or it feels stuck or you feel because of this situation, it's not going to work out. Don't think that. Now, I believe that you guys are definitely feeling like because of the the, the current situations, you guys feel like this is not going to move. This does not mean anything. Okay. It's, it's going to, it's, it, remember I said that the, the planets are still moving and your life path is in, in, in your destiny is, and you're destined to do whatever. And it's already happening in your chart, even if you guys don't see it. So I, I think I said this yesterday that you guys feel that stuck energy and particularly it's because of the world um, conditions or the current conditions of the world, okay? With this Sag card, with that Queen of Wands, that was perfect. I'm glad that I said it because I brought it. I was saying that because of the energy, the usefulness, the, um, the fire, the fire that you guys have. Some of you guys feel like, okay, it's just dead. I have nothing to do. You feel like because of things that's going on, your fire has been put out. But remember here, we're talking about the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles specifically talks about things are going to look up for you because things are going to be given. Remember Sag is Jupiter. That means luck. Okay. 
So, and, and we're talking about a lot of this is happening for you guys. And this is not just re this read. It was a read in the past. I have seen you guys are still in that cycle. So look out for these, for this particular card here. All right. So we're going to get our other energies, our other cards here. So we definitely see that someone is coming towards you. And we've already said this, Sag. Okay. So, but this is also for those who believe that, you know, you're not in, you're not dealing with the past person. You don't feel like dealing with the past person. You're moving on in this sense because it was something that you guys did not, uh, you, you just could not handle you know, the, the, the type of behaviors and the, the toxic behaviors and attitudes that was being portrayed towards you. Okay. There was a lot of selfish energy here. There was a lot of, you know, lack of emotion. Um, a lot of you guys had, I'm feeling very heavy energies of, you know, people leaving, you know, almost as if they didn't care, you know, it was, it was just like, like a drop of a, in a bucket and just leaving and going away. But I also see that a lot, and this is this could have definitely been them too. So I'm not going to always have Queen of Swords to be Sagittarius. Some of you guys were literally left out to dry, okay? You know, the person just completely left. But, and this is, like I said, looking in a more positive light, you guys are moving on. You guys are going to cut out whatever it is that are, that is, you know, making you feel sad, making you feel like you know, you weren't enough. And I, like I said before, I don't believe this and feel this with Sagittarius. I don't feel that energy with you guys, but we're all human. And we know that it happens a lot, okay? That people make us feel like, you know, sometimes that we're not important, okay? But this energy definitely is beautiful. Energy says that you're gonna move on from that type of feelings, those type of, that type of mentality, cut that type of, feeling out of your heart and out of your mind in order for you to move on. I do see that you guys are waiting for something though. And you know, I said this before with the with the hangman, okay? And this is because you guys have to see things from a different perspective. We're talking about timing here, okay? So sometimes time plays a role in the things of what you're going to get and where you're going to get. Remember, Sag is talking about Jupiter. That's luck. Now, when it's going to happen, it's all up to the universe, but I feel like it, it will, but I feel like this waiting energy is almost like it should be here right now. It should be here right now, right? You guys are not the only one in this energy. A lot of people are in this type of energy. So feeling like you're waiting, but you're in expectation. It's not just waiting. A lot of you guys are definitely in the expectation for the things that you know that are going to come to you. Now, we're going to go ahead and get to the love read because that's the only cards that I have left, Sag. Here with the Emperor. You know... I've said this in, on plenty of videos that you guys are dealing with someone that could possibly be older or you guys are older. So there's definitely some type of age or difference between some of you guys, but you're dealing with someone who's very stable. And if the person isn't around, they will be. I see this in a personal read all the time for a particular individual. The emperor always comes out because the emperor gets things done, okay? No matter what. The emperor has been through all the shenanigans, all the stuff in the past, all the plays, playboy and playgirl energy, you know, all the fights and in, in the, in the, all of that, right? And so the emperor comes to you offering something, right? It, 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 it comes in that light that this particular person comes offering you something because of what they have built, okay? You guys will definitely have something to celebrate with this person. You're also going to be in the energy of feeling like you've won. All of that energy that you guys have put, that you ha you guys have put into connections prior, all the energies that you put in your job, the feeling of not necessarily having your, your, your family having your back, you're going to finally feel, because this is sitting right up under the Queen of Swords, you're going to finally feel victorious. This is interesting because the Queen of Swords has like almost like a trophy. The sword is down. No more fighting, right? 
No more um, having to fight with anyone, not physical, right? It's like, do I really have to go the extra mile just to get what I want? So it's no more of that. It's like put, picking up that trophy saying that you won. And this is victory, okay? Two cards back to back that actually states that. Now here, this is the King of Wands. This is your divine counterpart. And it's right below the Three of Wands. That is who you're waiting for, male or female. Because see, the, the queen, the, the king of wands come out and you guys reading all the time. This is this is how I know it's a certain personality that you, you guys, you Sages, you like. You love someone who is sexy, who is, who is very, um, you know, I wouldn't say domineering because at, in that point that would be more male, man. So I'm going to say very, very strong, very feminine. It, you guys love the opposite energy heavily and you like people or you like the, the ones who always keep you on your feet. And the King of Wands have done that, but the King of Wands used to be a playboy. And see, I'm getting a lot of energies from, from Sagittarius that you guys like people who are a little cocky. A little, a little egotistical. Don't, don't act like it. I'm, come on now, Sag. You know, you can't put nothing past me. I know how to read these cards. Okay? You And I said this yesterday in your read. I'm like, it's something that annoys you about them. But at the same time, you think it's so sexy. And this, these are the people that you attract. But this is a mature energy. See, this is that mature energy that's coming towards you. And this is the thing that you're going to fall head, head over heels for. Okay. Someone who's extremely cocky. I mean, yeah, extremely confident, cocky too, but confident. And you feel safe around them. And some of you guys have more than one options and they will. The person that's going to come toward you, towards you, it's going to be more than one person, particularly for those who are you know, very active in their life. If you don't have anybody now, you're very active. This is, you're going to have more than one option. One is going to possibly be older and one is going to be a little bit younger with a little bit more fire. But it all depends on what you want in particular in life, but it'll be there for you. Look at this. I'm not going to move this. I want to leave this here for a second because this is the Ace of Cups. And you guys saw me shuffle. I, I, I shuffled three different decks. And I already know what you guys have been through in prior. I know the pain that you guys have been through. I know the sacrifice. You guys have, you know, dealt with people who are extremely selfish. And so, I, again, like I said, this is some of you guys are moving on, cutting things off. But then you're going to be waiting for your person. And I see it. Because there's a heavy love reading here. It's, it's, it's extremely heavy, but it's not just about the love. It's about the divine ones, right? The one that universe put you guys together. And I believe that this person is watching you. So for those who know who the person is, they're watching everything that you do. Maybe this person too, maybe um, you guys may move in. You guys going to end up having documents to sign together. I definitely see this. I see that heavily because I, I just, for some reason, I heard papers. Okay. All of this love energy here and this victorious energy, this is what this means to me. Like kind of like papers to sign, right? But they're, they're watching you. And they're going to get this idea. It's going to be something that they're going to do, maybe because, uh, like I said before, because of, we're kind of restricted. They're going to get this idea to try to come to you and say, hey, let's, you know what? I know this and this and this is going on. Hey, let's do it like this. Or maybe we can meet up here or maybe, you know, I'll fly you out. Right? But this is going to be that spark, that thing. Remember, this is an ending to a new beginning. But then you're going to have this spark. Finally, even those, the ones who feel, even in the bottom of their heart, that there's nothing in sight. Okay? Even if you feel like there's nothing in sight. 
And I, I, I literally, I meditated on these cards. There's going to be something that you guys feel very victorious over. There is long-term commitment for a lot of you. There is freshness. There is a lot of unexpected change that is going to happen. And it's going to make you feel brand new. It really is. So Sash, that was your second read. I will definitely be back. Okay, but I have to do the other reads too. But this was my schedule for this week anyway, um, for this month. I want to do that for this month for you guys. But I wanted to get everybody's energy and I kind of want to see what everybody else was kind of saying in the comment section. This is love all the way. Okay, for some of you guys that are feeling depressed and lonely and sad, look at what the universe is saying. Hold tight. Hold on. It's coming. It's moving. They're coming. Okay, so Sash, that was your, that was your read. <laughs> I was going to say September read. We already did September, but that was your read. Okay, I will see you guys back here soon. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will, I will talk to you. Bye.